Hey, how's it going? Before this video starts, I'm going to explain what an iceberg is for those who are unfamiliar with this type of videos. A iceberg is a tier list that begins with the most common trivia and theories at the top to the least common at the bottom. Now that I got that out the way, let's roll the intro. The Jettish Kids Cup was a soccer tournament where boys and girls from 16 different countries participated in. The tournament usually lasted for five days and was designed to promote the importance of a healthy and active lifestyle as well as learn the values of sportsmanship, fair play, and cultural exchanges. Welcome to the Jettish Kids Cup. We're going to Paris, France. I can't wait. Get ready as our USA boys and girls soccer teams travel to Paris to challenge other kids from around the world. When we lose or draw, it's going to be a lot of fun. With your host, DC United phenom Freddie Adu and special guest Lori Fair and Landon Donovan, I'm your announcer, Eric Winalda. It's the JetX Kids Cup, so let's kick it. The animated version was an action block that aired on Sundays on Toon Disney. The action block had shows like Digimon, Beyblade, and many more. The animated version was Disney's way to compete with the Toonami action block. Direct from Japan comes the best in Jetix anime. Tonight, watch Jetix anime invasion. You'll love Digimon. Let's do it! Woo! Beyblade. But it red. Shinzo. Bring it on. Daigo. And Mongoli Knight, yeah. you'll get adventure and action, action, action. JetX Anime Invasion. Tonight at 9, 8 central. Karazumi Dene, JetX. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Jay is the Jettis mascot and is a silver cat-like creature with one big eye, a rare outline, and it's also shaped like an X. Jay is usually seen in the beginning when Jettis is about to start, and also in between the commercial bumpers. Jay also has the ability to fly and transform. Human J, better known as Jettistan, is an anthropomorphic version of the Jettis mascot. Jettistan is usually depicted as a girl with silver hair with pigtails and has hair covering her right eye. She also wears a headband with cat ears and a hoodie. Jettistan was created during the Channel 10 trend. For those of you who don't know, this was a trend when artists used to draw human versions of TV channels like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney, and many more. Jettis ran from 2004 to 2009. Even though it was pretty successful, it would later be rebranded to Disney SD due to Disney wanting to focus more on the Disney brand. Russia and the Middle East would be the last two countries where Jettis would air until they were replaced by Disney Channel Russia and Playhouse Disney in 2010. The Enviroleptic Sweepstakes was a sweepstakes held by Jettix and Toon Disney that began on April 6th in 2008. In order to enter the sweepstakes, the viewer must find a green fat that appears at the start of each show. The winners of the sweepstakes got a free trip to the S-Game events in LA, Ill, California, and the first prize winners gets a free motorbike and safety gear. Get 
ready for the Toon Disney JetX and Viral Olympics sweepstakes. All April long, at the start of every show, you can watch to find a green fact. <laughs> what power! Then you can go to JetX.tv slash green and answer a green question for your chance to win one of three grand prizes to a green action event in Los Angeles. Plus, there are 250 first prize winners. <laughs> And catch your favorites all month long during the Toon Disney JetX and Viral Olympic sweepstakes. Many will enter, few will win. JetX. Mini Max is a European kids television channel. The Spain version of Mini Max was replaced with JetX in 1998. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go is an animated influence television series about five cybernetic monkeys and a human boy named Chiro as they struggle to protect Shigazoon and the rest of the universe from the Skeleton King. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go was the first original series produced by Jedits. Shigazoon, a futuristic world and home to five bionic monkeys of legend. I can smash it and pound it and slam it in. There's a reason monkeys live in trees. It is said that when the planet found peace long ago, the monkeys slept and would return when the universe needed them once more. The monster alert! The city is under siege! Again! Now, a young boy has found their ancient sleeping grounds. The time of the monkey has arrived. Hyper Force, go! Let's go pound some bad guys. And sorry, Law Disruptor. Sparks! Menno Ball Blazer! Give some Cyberbat Truth! Nova! Palladium! Ha ha ha! Together, they are a strength known as Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go, a new original series powered by JetX, and coming to Toon Disney this fall. Monkey Boo! Get is a TV series about a genetically engineered teenage delivery boy who fights industrial crime in Progress City. Ed works at Dojo Deliveries, which is one of the top companies in Progress City. Get is a computer animated series that aired on Jetix until Yin Yang Yo is a Flash animated series created by Bob Boyle. The series is about two twin rabbits named Yin and Yang, who are trained under their master, a grumpy old panda named Yo, who is teaching them the sacred art of Wu Fu. The series is inspired by Teen Titans, Fully Cooley, and Samurai Jack. In a world of chaos and disarray, brother and sister save the day. Yin Which is a French animated television series based on the Italian comics of the same name. The series follows five girls, Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Haylin, who all get gifted with various magical powers and elemental abilities and become the guardians of the veil. It's been 1,000 years since the guardians have been called upon to defend the veil. So, the crystal has passed to a new generation. Now, for the first time in a millennium, witness their return. The heart of Kandrakar. 
You have been chosen as the new Guardians of the Veil. Gee, that'll make me popular. A new portal has opened into the world of Shreddix Witch. A new original series, Monday evenings on Toon Disney. Digimon Data Squad is the fifth season of the Digimon series. The series follows Marcus Damon, a junior high street fighter, who finds and meets the Digimon Agumon and defeats him in a fight. Agumon acknowledges Marcus as his boss, or Aniki, in a Japanese version of the series. Later on, Marcus and Agumon join a Digital Accident Taxi Squad, or DATS for short, which is a government organization established to maintain the peace between the real world and the digital world by defeating and transporting the Digimon back to the digital world. The series is also known as Digimon Savers in Japan. Power Rangers Generation was the name that the reruns of Power Rangers ran under as part of the Jettis block on ABC Family and Toon Disney from 2005 to 2007. Before this, it was known as the Best of Power Rangers. Out on Power Rangers Generation. One full hour tomorrow morning at 11, 10 Central. It's all part of Jettis on ABC Family. Jettis Super Summer of Heroes was a summer programming blog where the viewer could go on the Jettis website and pick episodes they wanted to see the most. We must do it! I'm ready! Hey! First things first, guys. I need my laptop. <sighs> That's right! Everybody went online and voted for their favorite hero! You got it! Now, see the winners in the biggest Super Picks event of the summer! Ah, that is a big deal! The Super Pick It and Get It Marathon! Coming up next on ABC Family! Wow! A Super Summer of Heroes finale, made for you, by you! Shit X! 2,000 years ago, a huge war between humans and dragons erupted on the world of Draconius. The Golden Dragon of Legends chose a human to become the Dragon Booster. Together they used their powers to bring peace to the world and show that dragons and humans can coexist together. In the present day, humans and dragons are now working in unison, but unknown to the public, another war is looming around the corner. Connor Penn has bred back the last Golden Dragon named Bo, who has chosen the stable boy, Arthur, who's Connor's son, as the next Dragon Booster. Arthur and Bo work together in order to protect the world from from the upcoming dragon and human war. Weekends on Jetix! The dragons! 12 tons of snarling scale and bone ready to tear up the track at an incredible 200 miles per hour! <laughs> the legend, Mosopolis the Gold Star Dragon, has come of age and chosen a rider! Oh, I stuck up in. The race! It's not just about speed and agility, it's about the power of the dragon! Release the dragon! Dragon Booster, part of Jetix. Weekends at 10.30 on ABC Family. Puka is an animated comedy television series that's based on shorts created by the South Korean company Vuz. The series revolves around Puka, a young South Korean superhuman girl who is constantly trying to hug and kiss the ninja in training named Garu. <laughs> PSG is a television series created by Prism Entertainment for Jettis in the United Kingdom. Ew, British. British people are fucking real people. You guys have less rights than fucking dogs, okay? The series covered the latest gaming reviews, hints, tips, and cheats that was presented by Kentaro Sayama. The show began airing on February 12th in 2005. The name PSG was an acronym from the three main home consoles at the time, the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. Each episode featured Kentaro and his CG animated assistant, Game girl as they review various games and accessories and don't miss pxg on friday when we'll have an extra special show featuring 
the week's highlights plus some extra hints, tips and reviews for you. PXG only on Jetix. Gaming is the only way. Monster Warriors was an original Canadian television series that aired on YTV and also Jettis in the United Kingdom in April 2006. The series follows the adventures of four teenagers fighting to protect Capital City from the vengeful wrath of insane and disgruntled old B-roll movies. Over the course of the series, various story arcs occur that expands the series' cast and city locations. The series is a parody of Power Rangers and Ghostbusters. Jettis Puzzle Buzzle is a puzzle game for the Nintendo DS that was developed and published by Blast Entertainment that was released in 2008. Just like the name suggests, the DS game was a puzzle game where the player must build a high enough tower before the water rises. The Jettis Sampler Disc is a Jettis promotional CD that was released in 2006. The DVD includes four sampler cartoons. Jettis Magazine was a monthly magazine that was published in the UK. Ew, a British magazine. The magazine featured puzzles based on the television shows that aired on Jettis and also came with a free DVD that featured shows from the channel. Jettis Animation Concept is the original joint venture between Jettis and Walt Disney Television and was responsible for creating and developing original shows for Jettis. Jay's earliest concept design was slightly different from the finalized version we have, with the difference being a red mark above its eye. After Jettis' original run, some of the bumpers were thought to be lost forever, but thanks to buying DVD recordings off of eBay and the video uploads to YouTube, and also the Wayback Machine, majority were recovered. The bumpers are listed on the Lost Media Wiki and on the Jettis and Disney Fan YouTube channel. Oban Star Race is a French-Japanese television series that's set in the year 2082. Eva Wee, a girl whose mother died in a tragic race accident 10 years ago, has fled boarding school in order to see her father, Don Wee, who's the greatest race manager on the planet. After being reunited with her dad again, he doesn't recognize her, so she takes on her name Molly to hide her identity and becomes his mechanic. Don's team is chosen as Earth's representative in an intergalactic race and competition known as the Great Race of Oban. With the planet's survival on the line, Don's team must win the ultimate prize that can supposedly grant any wish before the evil croc empire can. The series was originally produced as a short movie titled Molly Star Racer. In a galactic competition where second place will mean the end of humanity, where Earth's only hope rests in the skills of a 15-year-old ace pilot. Hang on, we're going for a ride! lies the greatest challenge the galaxy has ever known. A journey 10,000 years in the making is about to begin. Oban Star Racers. Weekends on ShitX. Shuriken School is an animated series that first premiered on August 20th in 2006. The series follows the adventures of a 10 year old boy named Aizen Kubaragi and his friends during their first year at an underfunded ninja school.
Teen Gallus is about a group of friends who try to balance both their school life, work, and free time. Josh, Yoko, and Brett are students at a Teen Galaxy High, a Galactic Justice Authority, which defends the galaxy against criminals. Teen Gallus is a French animated series co-produced by Marathon Media, Image Entertainment Corporation, and Jettis Europe. Jettis Cars Live is an online trading card game that was developed by the new media and technology team. After signing up at ToonDisney.com, the user receives a virtual pack of 40 Jettis Cards, each highlighting characters and elements of the shows that play on the network. Users can log in daily to receive a booster pack of virtual cards, which can be collected in a customized online album. The more cards the players collect, the better their chances are getting a higher score in a live game. During the Jettis Super Summer of Heroes, the viewer had a chance to build their very own poster by going to the Jettis website each week, answering the trivia question, and collecting a new piece. Oh yeah! Collect them all to create your very own Jettis Super Poster! It's only at Jettis.tv slash Super Summer. Part of Jettis!